What is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for checking out today's video, which is going to be Daisy Vanilla Mod Season 3, Episode 7. So if you remember back in Episode 6, I was at the Northwest Airfield for the last half of the video, or not really the last half, I would say more the last third of the video, I would say. And I actually, obviously, ended up dying, that's why I am respawning here in Belota today. And that's pretty much all the setup you need for today's video, not a whole lot of setup up behind this one. Uh, remember, if you guys end up liking the video, please leave a like and comment down below. Also, go join our Facebook group at YT Tactical Bacon. Go follow me on Twitter at YT Tactical Bacon. And also, go check out our Steam group. Links for all that kind of stuff is in the description, or you can just read it off the top little overlay there. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I'm pretty sure I lost that zombie that I had on me. This definitely isn't the best place to be spawning at. <laughs> I've had to crouch walk the entire way here and it's taken me about 10 minutes so far to just to get from uh, Kaminka over here to the airstrip. But I am at the airstrip now so hopefully we can find some stuff. I'm really not expecting too much here. As you never really should expect that much whenever you come to Belota. I mean, you might get lucky. I might as well take these things. Actually, you know what? This flare? I had no idea why I just picked that up, to be honest with you. Ooh, an E-tool. Don't really know what I'm going to need that for just yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Actually, someone might hop in the comments and tell me that, oh, an E-Tool is fucking in-game shit, man. You can do anything with that. Uh, okay. I'm sure I can figure out what I can attach that to. There's a smoke grenade. Uh, some rounds out there. Really nothing worth going out there. Fuck. Can zombie aggro on me now. Actually, if I can drag him into the building, I might be able to, uh, kind of trap him in here. At least long enough for me to get out. Because that's really all I need, is just time to get out. Check this barracks building over here. Looks like it's already been looted. Unless all the doors just randomly spawned open. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yes, please. Wish I had a backpack so I could pick up that, that other gun that's on the ground. And that one, too. It's one mag. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I actually have a decent weapon now, and I do not... Do not want to die. <clears throat> so I think what I've learned <laughs> from... Playing multiple seasons of this mod already, I think what I've learned is that um, zombies and players are a, a big threat, but from my experience, zombies are definitely the bigger threat. Um, for any of you that have watched the previous episodes, obviously you know that I have died from zombies quite a few times. <laughs> Another E tool. I don't think there's like a backpack or anything out there. At least I'm not seeing a backpack. Oh shit. I do see that zombie though. Luckily I can slip right past them. Uh, 
Alright, that's one guy. Now I got like a fucking billion zombies after me. He didn't have a backpack, did he? No. He had no backpack at all. Get the range on this fucking weapon, right? See, it's kind of weird though, because even though I killed that guy on sight, he is. or he was clearly a bandit. That's another ATC down there. But yeah, that guy was clearly a bandit. But, um. I think my humanity right now is like 26 something. So, I mean, I'm not like anywhere near being like a legitimate hero or anything like that on the server, but. I'm being sniped at now. Fuck! Oh, these zombies are gonna kill me too. Fucking way she goes. I'm gonna bleed out. Yeah, I'm gonna bleed out before I'm able to wake back up. Do I have zombies on me? Can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking way she goes. Fucking way she goes. My humanity is 2675. Which is kind of crazy because I just killed that, that bandit guy. So I'm really not sure why it's still so low, but I don't know. I guess what I was trying to say earlier though was um, it's kind of funny because most of the time, obviously, I shoot on sight. And I. I've been doing it this time, or rather, I've been doing it on this server, but I've been getting positive humanity in return for it. I guess most of the people on here are bandits, so even though I'm still playing the same way, it looks like I'm getting more, like, hero humanity, I guess. So that's kind of cool. You know what? 45 ACP? Yeah, I'd rather keep that. I don't need to watch. Because knowing what time it is is not that important to me on this server. Because luckily, for, for those of you that are looking for a good vanilla mod server, I... Oh shit. I will always suggest this one. Um, simply because, you know, it's, it's not too full of, like, weapons. Like, overpowered weapons or anything like that. Um, definitely take that grape soda. Um, but one of the things that you kind of have to look out for is that it, or not, not necessarily look out for, just like, just be aware of, is that like when the server starts to get darker, that's usually when it starts to go towards like the restart, so... If you're looking for a vanilla mod server that's not, like, dark certain periods of the time... Jesus fucking Christ. But if you're looking for a good vanilla mod server that's not, like, gonna be dark half the time, definitely check this one out. Like, I've played on, like, uh, like, Daisy Europa's kind of like that, where they have, like, what seems like almost realistic day-night cycles. Or at least they used to. I'm not exactly sure if they do have that kind of stuff there anymore. Broken sledgehammer. Why the fuck would I want that? Alright, all of you fucking zombies, get in here. Do a Congo line. And then I'm gonna do everything that I can to make sure that none of you get out. <laughs> I'm gonna go over that factory over there, actually, because... Look at them. Alright, some of them are starting to head towards the door. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that one's gonna come over here to me. If I can just... I can't get in there. If I can just get around all these fuckers, though. Because, like, obviously I need a, a hatchet. What the hell is this? Oh. 
somebody's stash is completely and totally empty. But yeah, I would like to find a hatchet. Maybe a machete in this factory. Oh. Oh. Broken pickaxe. I can use that as a melee weapon, can I? No, I can't. I have to fix it first, probably. Which I am probably not going to be alive long enough to do. Unfortunately. You know what? We're up here. Whatever. I will climb up this ladder and check out what's going on up, up here. There's a Pepsi. Guess I can take that. Zombies over there. There's a wheel. And duct tape. Unfortunately, the wheel is going to take up too much inventory space, and inventory space is already really, really low, so. Inventory space is, like, more of it is needed. Everything will be clear. Find that hatchet. Freaking zombies kill me. He has a crowbar. I'll take that. Oh, you motherfucker. You motherfuckers. Oh my god. Is it the same, like, million zombies that I tried to leave in the factory? Pretty sure it is. Fucking kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna die if I can't fucking heal these wounds. <clears throat> See, that's that, that's that's why I said like you definitely have to be very weary of the zombies in this in this mod. This isn't like it used to be, or like it is in uh, Epoch and Overpoch. But I'm telling you, man, I, I really do think that since uh, one of the last updates, the zombies have definitely gotten a lot like, tougher or more aggressive or something, because they are, they are little cunts right now. Not the... Not the good kind, either. Alright, what do we have in here? Bunch of shit. Bunch of shit. There's a firehouse around here somewhere. That's what I'm trying to get to right now. Actually, this is Electro, so there should be a couple. Go this way. Luckily, I know most of this town like the back of my hand. For the most part. I think there was a zombie that just aggroed over here. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> A baseball bat's killer.